Um, it, so let me ask the question that is, you know, on certain people's minds um, in, in the marketplace today. So we're talking about Facebook and we're talking about Twitter. Those guys uh, at that company that starts with a G, um, Google, I think it's called, uh, Google Plus. Sloan, what, what, are, are you having inbound inquiries from clients? I mean, are, are people, you know, anxious to know more and, and understand from a, from a client perspective, or is it just another, uh, another shot across the bow that, you know, is going to go the way of previous attempts at, at, at uh, Social with, you know, with, with Google. Absolutely, we get the question every day, and I think the biggest the the biggest form of the question we get today is, wow, is this another location that I have to go and manage my brand? Um, I, you know, time will tell. We'll see what happens when they launch their their uh, Google Plus for Business product and and how that unfolds. But um, you know, I, I think it's important for every brand to actually take the time and sit down and figure out what types of interaction and brand engagement and enthusiasm those types of platforms can deliver. And really, I, I, we're, we're so intensely, in our industry, we, we have this intense desire to, to put everything into a currency that we can manage against something else. And that way we can see, you know, a dollar on Facebook versus a TV. I mean, to me, that, that, that is a, a scenario that I don't like to get into, um, especially since we should be going and looking at what is the volume of conversation? What's the positive or negative sentiment? And really, what does it mean to your business? Is it great to have, you know, 750,000 passionate fans versus 20 million? 